guys, it's Laura from Lightning Cosplay. My latest Monster Hunter cosplay has a lot of chainmail, so I thought about how to make chainmail light and comfortable for a long and exhausting convention day. After some material research, I figured out four ways to make a light and comfortable and also a cheap chainmail for my cosplay. In the past we already worked with steel chainmail for a cosplay, but it turned out super heavy and it took us ages to make it. So if you're looking for a lightweight and cheap solution, maybe you will like one of these. Creating a chainmail can take forever. Some years ago Ralph made a steel chainmail with scales for his Nord cosplay. Steel chainmails are awesome and has their benefits. You don't have to think about how to paint it, it's super durable and it looks amazing. And it also makes a nice sound when you move. But it's super heavy. So maybe this is not the best when you want to have something comfy and lightweight for your cosplay. While I was fabric shopping for my Monster Hunter cosplay, I found this meshed fabric and thought it would be a nice alternative for real chainmail. I dyed the fabric with I dye poly black and this is what I got. I cut out the parts for my costume and just spray painted it. The Monster Hunter Ratian armor has chainmail panels under the skirt. The fabric chainmail was the perfect solution for this. Another idea I found on the internet is to use these non-slip mats. The one I got was very stiff but I know that you can also buy more flexible ones. It has two sides. One has this drippy bubbles and the flat side. This is the side you're gonna use. You can paint it with different paints like acrylic, plasti dip or normal spray paint. But make sure that your spray paint is flexible. To get a silver finish I used rub and buff. After everything was fully dried I tested the stickiness. The spray paint was still a bit sticky, so I would prefer to use Plasti Dip or acrylic paint. The next alternative I found in the internet is making a chainmail out of plastic springs. These are very cheap, I bought the whole box for just $25. First you just cut off a ring, then take a comb pliers to squeeze the overlap sections to flatten them. Then you can push one side over the other, so the edges are now pressed together. I think this is a nice idea, but for me it does not work. It took too long and after knitting your chainmail you need to glue each ring to make sure that they don't pop open. But when you have enough patience, that can be a very nice alternative. Now my favorite alternative, 3D printed chainmail. It looks so amazing, moves perfectly and is super lightweight and the best thing is that the 3D printer already does the knitting for you. Look, it's just magic! You can download the files for the chainmail for free on Thingiverse. My 3D printer is not big enough to print the whole chainmail in one piece, so I always print these chainmail strips. I cut open some of the rings and put the strips together to get bigger pieces. You can paint it with acrylic paint or spray paint. It looks so real. The 3D printed chainmail is amazing but also have two disadvantages. You need a 3D printer and I would not recommend to use it for custom parts which moves a lot because the rings are not very strong and can break. I think that these are some nice alternatives to real chainmail. If you have some other ideas or solutions, just let me know in the comments. I'm always very curious. I hope this helps you and gives you some inspiration for your own cosplay projects. And as always, if you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And you can also check out our tutorial books to level up your cosplay skills. So then, see you next time. Bye bye!